Welcome to Save Time with Text Expanders. I'm your host, Garland Colson, also known as Captain Time. So what the heck is a text expander? Well, a text expander is a little piece of software. It sits in the background and it monitors what you're typing. When it finds a combination of keys that you put together that you've predefined, it will automatically insert text for you. It's a great way to make sure that you don't have to retype commonly used text all the time. It's much faster than copying and pasting. So when you're going to copy and paste, you have to open the other program, copy the text, then come back to the program you're working in and paste it. Instead, here, you never have to go to another program. You're just within whatever program you're working, and you just go ahead and enter the keystrokes, and it puts it in for you. And this works with every application, which is very useful. Some of the uses of text expanders, uh, these are uses I use it for or some of my clients do. Sales letters. I do a lot of sales letters, proposals and things like that out. It's a great way to insert a pre-written sales letter in, then I customize it for each person. Signature lines. Support replies. Common email replies, fundraising letters, a lot of nonprofits can use it for that. URLs, website addresses, tools and software, websites you might recommend on a regular basis. Instead of rewriting that recommendation each time, why not just insert it? Links to pictures that you use on a regular basis, favorite recipes, uh, automatically correcting some misspelled words, common bits of text. Programmers can use text expanders for code modules, uh, email addresses, phone numbers. I have one set up to automatically insert my mailing address. Common symbols or characters, inserting a date and time, templates, checklists. So there's lots of really amazing uses for text expanders. So let's look at a few examples. So the first example is using a text expander to insert a URL or a website address. So I have a tracking link set up to go to my coaching uh, services. So whenever I want to send someone a link to my coaching service, I just type you coach. That's it. And it automatically inserts the URL. For the hosting company that I use, I have my affiliate link. Once again, pre-set up as a tracking link. I just type you host and it automatically inserts that for me. You choose the abbreviation, so I could use L for link or W instead of U. This is just what I've chosen, so you can use whichever ones you want. You can also use multiple keys, such as Control, Shift, Alt keys uh, in conjunction with numbers and letters, so whatever keyword combo you want. I use uh, bit.ly to track traffic to the links uh, and to protect my affiliate links so I, I can see how much traffic is going through. So my next example is a mailing address. So when I type text txt mail, it automatically inserts this whole line, says my mailing address is. So it inserts the whole thing there. Third example, here's a sales letter. So when I type in NN, which is short for Networking Nanaimo, then it automatically puts in the sales letter that I send to local people in IMO that says, my wife and I run a local networking business group. We'd love to invite you. Or here's how our group's different. Our next meeting is, and of course, I update that every month. You can RSVP and find out more at the following link. And I hope to see you at one of our future events, et cetera, et cetera. So this is with two, I can type in two letters and hit the space or the tab, and it will automatically insert this. Online messages as well, it works great for. Uh, so I use LinkedIn a lot to connect with people. So in LinkedIn, whenever I type in LI thanks, it becomes this whole, you know, thanks for connecting in LinkedIn. I coach successful people like yourself in time management. Would you be interested in a free 20 minute coaching session? Here's my toll free number. Here's what my clients say about me. So I've got that all preset. And of course I customize it. I might make a comment about something I've seen in their LinkedIn profile. Example number five, a signature line. Whenever I type in CT Sig, short for Captain Time Signature, it becomes this, Captain Garland Colson, Captain Time, my URL, and my phone numbers. Number six, and this has been really helpful for me, is symbols. I get paid, and I have clients all around the world, so I'm often doing quotes in Canadian funds, U.S. funds, pound sterling, and euros. And it's very hard to, you can't type those on normal keyboards. There are keyboard shortcuts. You can hold your alt key down and hit zero, one, two, eight, and get a, get a euro symbol. You can, for pound sterling, you can go alt zero, one, six, three. But I don't remember all those symbols every time I go to use them because it may be weeks since I've used it. So now I've set up 
in, within um, my text expander program to just put colon pound, colon euro, or colon trademark, and it will insert the euro pound or trademark. And I add new symbols as they come up. So every time I have a new symbol, I have to go look for the keyboard keyboard shortcut for. I immediately add it to Phrase Express right away. This has been a huge time savings for me. I, I can send out 20 sales letters in much less time than most people can with the old copying and pasting. It's very quick. And for people who are disabled, text expanders give you a great way to be able to work with blocks of text with only a few keystrokes. So it really is, is a huge benefit for those people as well. Now, some of you might uh, say, well, isn't that like a macro or couldn't I use a macro for this? And you can. Macros are usually meant to execute a series of functions, like calling up a program, doing different things. So they can be used for text expanders as well. Most of the ones I've seen, though, are fairly complex. So if you're a programmer, you're already using a good macro program and you want to do it and you'd like to set it up for this, go ahead. But I think for the average person using it in a professional environment, you'd probably find uh, text expanders would be more useful. So you know, macros have their place. They're great for automating certain tasks, but text expanders are just a little easier to use. A few tips. You want to create phrases that don't happen commonly. I didn't use the word coach, for example, for the coaching URL, because if then every time I typed the word coach, I would get a URL instead of the word coach. So obviously that's not going to work. So instead I use a, you know, you coach, a word that I wouldn't type in normal use. And use a common approach that helps you remember. I can easily remember the URLs because it's the shortest possible word for a link with a U in front. If I used U for some and W for web, it'd be really tough to remember. Would I use a W in that one? Do I use a, a U? So which one is it? There's a number of different text expander programs out there for Windows. Uh, one of the most common ones is Phrase Express for the Mac Text Expander. It's actually called Text Expander. For Chrome, it's a little different for the Chrome um, notebooks, Chrome laptops, because you're not working in a in a program. You're working within an operating system. So the Auto Text Expander uh, is one that will work for Chrome. That that might work there. I'm not sure how well it will work if you're in some offline things, but you can try that. And for Linux, there's one called Auto Key. Uh, the one I use is Phrase Express. It's Windows based, which is what I'm using. It does plain text, rich text, or HTML text, which is a real benefit to do. You can also uh, search search engines with it. It can do some macro functions. It can launch other programs. It can open URLs and files. So it has a, it's quite robust, quite easy to use. Here's a screenshot of Phrase Express. As you can see, I've got some of my sales letters over here. And here's an example of one of my sales letters. And just down here, I say, what would I type to have that one called? So it's fairly easy to set up, quite easy to find. You can just have folders for each of the ones you use. So I hope you've enjoyed my saving time with text expanders. I will tell you this saves me a lot of time in a week. If you'd like additional help with time management or some of the any other things I do, uh, I'm happy to help by phone, by Skype, by email. I do group training if you'd like to train your group, and I also offer webinars. So for more information on any of these, visit CaptainTime.com. Thank you for listening.